cute, yeah, just like you buy in the shops. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? The surgery room has been organized to operate as an assembly line. As the mothers undergo the quick operation, babies are kept apart in canvas bags. We do tubal ligations or vasectomies, which means we disconnect the sexual organs from the devices that allow them to mate so that they can actually still have a normal life but they will not become pregnant. During the operation we uh, anaesthetise the animal with a gaseous anaesthetic. We shave them up and do very small scalpel blade incisions through which we pass a fibre optoscope which we can see the ovaries and the uterus. We have a small cauterising unit which we can actually burn the fallopian tube, the connection between the ovaries and the uterus. Okay. The operation takes about a quarter of an hour in total. Uh, the animal is out for an anaesthetic for possibly 20 minutes and they wake up uh, quite rapidly. I think I've operated on about uh, eight or 900 now. The sterilization of animals is a controversial issue. Conservationists like Deborah Tabard think spending valuable resources on sterilizing these animals is not just a waste of time and money, but something that could lead to disaster. I'm not against sterilization, but I am against the cruel practices that I see. I'm against the animals that die. And so make no mistake, when your viewers see some of these koalas that got moved or sterilized, they will be dead. Yeah, I can't wave a wand. If I could, I would, but I can't. So what, what we need to do is to try and, on balance, find what we think is the best solution that causes the least distress to the animals. I would prefer to be relocating some animals, putting them in bags and disorienting them and, and surgically sterilising them than watching them fall out of the trees uh, dead with hunger. Deborah's real fear is that sterilization could be setting the koala up for a big fall. By their very short-term thinking, are going to create worse long-term problems. At some point in the future, those animals cannot have babies. You might have a whole heap of animals just, can, just all of a sudden die, no new babies coming along. Then there'll be major problems. People hold the koala very dear, but in terms of inconvenience to an individual koala versus saving an ecosystem and all of the other plants and animals that depend on that system, on that forest, um, I think on balance it makes more sense to us to do something to manipulate the koala population and therefore decrease the impact that they are having on the system as a whole. Roger Martin has been working with koalas for over 25 years. Few love the animal more, yet the deeper Roger delves into the quandary, the darker the corner for the koala. And what conservation is really about today is preserving the diversity of ecosystems. Biodiversity is supposedly what it's about, and that means having a few of everything rather than a large number of one species. The trees are really at the basis of the ecosystem. They're a very important component for a large number of animals. If you let one animal get out of balance so that it removes the trees, then you lose many other species. Despite how much he loves koalas, Roger believes their cuteness should not interfere with management policies. 